Welcome to Xara Template Tutorial Lesson 127 with Xara Web Designer 9 Premium Software. This is part 6 of our video series for fixed position buttons. And in this video series, I'm going to show you how to upload your website to the internet with your fixed position buttons. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is make sure that you have the previous document open from the previous tutorial. But before we move forward, I do want to say that you may hear some fan noise in the background and you may hear this in future videos as well because it's really hot in the area that I'm located and that's why I have my fan on. So hopefully you don't hear it too much. I'm going to use some of my audio tools to try to clean up some of that fan noise um, using the software I purchased from those who have donated to my videos for YouTube. So thank you very much to those who have donated. Um, that is the reason that the fan noise won't be quite as bad as it would had I not had that software. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and move forward with the tutorial. The first thing that you want to do is bring up your website properties. And the way that you would do that is hit Control Shift W to bring up your web properties. Click on website. And when you click on that tab, we're going to click on HTML code body. And when you bring up that code, we're going to change one thing in there. And it's going to be the last image button that we created. And the reason that I'm going to change that is because if I leave it to XARTemplate.com forward slash next page dot I would need to upload it to XARTemplate.com website. So if I upload this website that we have to XARTemplate.com, it's going to overwrite all of the content that we have for our website. And I don't want to do that. You know, so in order to avoid that issue, I am going to change this dot com and it's going to be going to a different dot com other than XARTemplate.com. Instead, I'm going to upload it to creativefanatic.com. And let me make sure that I spelled that right. I don't think I did. I might have to go to the dictionary. Yeah, I'm going to have to go to the dictionary and make sure I spelled that correctly. I'm not sure if I spelled that correctly. So just ignore me for one moment. I need to make sure that I have spelled that correctly. I believe I did. Yes, I did spell it correctly. So let's go ahead and go back to Xara Web Designer. So yeah, we're going to upload that to creativefanatic.com and it's going to go to nextpage.htm, which is within this document that we created. But don't worry too much if you're not following me. As long as you follow the previous tutorial correctly, you should have everything set correctly. I'm just changing it because I want to use a different .com. Uh, and when you when you change this .com here, it's not going to necessarily determine if it's going to overwrite it. What's going to determine if it overwrites it is when I upload it to the internet. But in order to keep everything consistent, I have to make sure that this .com matches what I'm going to upload to. So hopefully you follow me. If you're not, just leave a comment and I'll do my best to assist you. So go ahead and hit OK and apply. If you already have that set, you shouldn't have to change anything. And then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to actually upload this to the Internet. So let's go ahead and go to File, Publish Website, and I'm going to choose Publish to an Alternative Web Host. And things look a little bit different than the previous version of XR Web Designer, but it's basically the same concept. If you want to upload to a different host, you would choose other web hosts via FTP, click on settings, and then you would enter in your FTP information. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'll type in FTP, template.com, enter in username, enter in password, and then enter in a subfolder. In this case, I have to use a subfolder because I don't want to overwrite XARTemplate.com. And this is what I was talking about earlier. You know, not, not necessarily changing the .com of, of the link that we were looking at for that button image is going to overwrite the website, but uploading the website over the root directory will overwrite the website for XARTemplate.com. So I have to upload it to a different directory. And in this case, I'm going to upload it to the creativefanatic.com directory. Okay, so I have that set. And then if you want to, you can enter in the URL. And also you can enter it for sitemap purposes. 
and you can enter it if you want to have your website submitted to the gallery at exire.com. In this case, I don't want to do that, so I'm just going to leave the variables that I have set as they are. Hit OK, and then hit OK again, and then it's going to give you another opportunity to change the subfolder if you have entered it incorrectly. In this case, I believe everything is correct. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the publish button and upload it to the internet. So once that's done, I'm going to hit the close button and then I'm going to go ahead and go back to the internet and I'm going to test and see if it uploaded it correctly. As you can see, it shows the squares and boxes here the black rectangle and the blue rectangle, but it doesn't show the fixed position buttons. And the reason for that is because we haven't uploaded that folder that we exported our images to. So the code is referencing the buttons that are on the side, but we can't see them because the images aren't there. So what we need to do next is we need to go to FileZilla. So I'm going to open up FileZilla, which is an FTP program. If you're not familiar with FileZilla, I highly recommend that you look at lesson 106 for Wild Slider and it will give you a brief understanding of how to use FileZilla. It's very similar to using a, uh, I'm sorry, it's similar to using the FTP aspect that we just used to publish the website. So for example, um, for our host, we would enter in FTP, XARTemplate.com, for a username we would enter in XAR, and then enter in the password and then connect to your server. So once you enter in all that information, you would go ahead and locate the area where you placed or uploaded your website, like we just did a few minutes ago. So in this case, I know I uploaded it to the public HTML folder, so I'm going to double left click on that. And I know that uh, I uploaded it also to creativefanatic.com. So I would find creativefanatic.com, which is right here, double left click on that and then I would be in the folder that we want to be in. And another way that you'll know that is if you look at the top here, it says public HTML forward slash creativefanatic.com. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our button images, which I already have it open here, and we're going to drag that folder into our website. So what I'll do is I'll drag this folder buttons into our website. And you should have that same folder if you followed my previous tutorials. And if we go back to the website and hit refresh, you'll see that now the buttons appear here on the side. So if I scroll up or down, those buttons remain in the exact same position. If I click on the Twitter button, it's going to take you to Twitter, to our Twitter page. And if you click on the blog button, it's going to take you to blog.com. If it loads the page, okay, there we go, it loaded the page. So you see now that all these buttons work. And if I click on the YouTube button here, and remember we have this link to another page within our website. So it's not going to actually go to YouTube, it's going to actually go to a page within our website. And you'll notice at the bottom here it says creative fanatic forward slash next page dot HTML. Okay? And, it, and the, let me point out one other thing. If I had left this at XAR template, you know, forward slash next page dot HTML, it would try to go to exartemplate.com forward slash nextpage.htm, which is not an actual web page because we didn't create that on exartemplate.com. We created it on Creative Fanatic. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense to you. So click on YouTube or whatever your page happens to be. For some reason, it did not uh, upload that page properly. So let me check one thing here is I might have given you the wrong information. So yes, I made a mistake actually. What you want to do is make sure that you have that .com part in there. So if you type in .com next page .htm, you'll see that it actually takes us to that page. So let me go back to um, XR Web Designer here, and I'm going to make some changes. So go to Web Properties, click on HTML Code Body, and click on the website. Actually, I need to go to the website tab. Click on HTML code body. And then where it says creative fanatic, make sure that you put .com in there. 
So my apologies that I did not tell you to put .com in there. Hit OK, apply, OK, and then go to File, Publish Website, hit Publish, hit Close, go back to our web browser here, hit the Refresh key, and then, and that's Control R if you're not familiar with how to refresh the page. Hit YouTube. Okay, now it worked. If you look at your URL up here, it says nextpage.htm. So it worked that time. So if we go back to Xara Web Designer, go to our page and layer gallery. If we click on next page, you'll notice there's nothing on there. And if you were looking at the web browser, you'll notice that there's nothing in our web browser as well. But if we go back to creativefanatic.com, the home page, you'll see that these rectangles are there. So we know that this button is working correctly because when we click on it, the squares disappear. Okay? So hopefully this tutorial was helpful in helping you understand how to upload your web page so that it will show your fixed position buttons. And again, my apologies about not adding the .com aspect in there so that the link would work correctly. But again, if this video was helpful, don't forget to embed, comment, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for future tutorials. Have a great day.